going up. Not like a second, like a secret floor is there? No. Angles are weird in this. <laughs> not pressing down. I'm not pressing down at all. There we go. Anything else? Yeah. Fresh air ahead. That way, I guess is where I'm going. Okay. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. All right. This is a whole lot of climbing around. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Obviously. Whoa. For a second, I thought she was just going to drop right down. Here we are. Up. I suppose. Any loots? Any lores? Nope. Big save. And then we'll continue on. That chill almost feels like sunburn. I'm not much higher to climb. The ramp Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Thank the mother. Or the father. Or Gaia. She has to be in here somewhere. I think I should be thanking Gaia for that. Uh, date, December 23rd, 2046. First stage of main facility complete. Intention all staff. It's with pride that I announce the completion of the first level of infrastructure in our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center for our project and will require the team's continued best efforts to realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a detailed plan for mustering out of the auxiliary space, which will serve as a contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. 90% of our personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m. Wednesday. If your name does not appear on the assignment list, please email Marissa with me and CC. Your dedication, talent, and intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Director Kenny Chow, Project Director. What happened to Blevins? I thought Blevins was in charge. Blevins is emailing, hey, my name wasn't on the list of people to move up from the temporary facility. Yes, Blevins, I know that your name wasn't on the list. And it was on purpose. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Why not both? Come on, people. Hacking a menu board, attention all staff, at an assembly of our country's finest scientific minds, recruited to address a grave threat to national safety. It would be fair to expect more mature conduct than demonstrated yesterday in the canteen. Mr. Blevins plays a crucial role in the successful execution of Firebreak, and it is due the respect both of his title and of his many contributions to the project. Any further interference in the menu boards will necessitate my direct personal involvement. Also, Anita, was it you? Winky, smiley face. Yes, Kenny, it was me. 
Uh, I could go up? Or... No, there's nowhere to climb. Is there nowhere to climb? Nah, I don't see any. There's no yellow. Like, it looks like I should be able to climb this... This ladder-like contraption right here pretty easily, but, uh... It's not painted yellow, so I can't... I can't do that. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak. Hello. A whisper is all I ask. To guide me. Give Aloy loot. Oh, hi. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Okay. Please. You don't know how to use these? I guess if you don't have a focus. I would think that some of these people would have focuses, though. I guess it's not just the focus, though. It's also the, uh, the override thing. But I'll bet the goal's the same. Get okay. the light back to the source. Where is the light? Here it is. Oh, look, there's some loot up here. Not loot, it's lore. Well, lore is kind of like loot in this game. Not as useful. Anita, as much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed lambent orbicular technology in the lower security door, I admit that for the auxiliary data center, it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions to your team, blah, blah, blah. It's, that's, I don't need to read the rest of that. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I just need to figure out how to do it. Let's go this way. Well, this is going to have to go up. Uh, nope, it's not this way. All right, let's go the other way. This way, then. That's not going to work. Well, and that doesn't work either. Okay. So, this way again. I mean, this these can only go, like, a certain way. Like this way, but it's not. <laughs> it doesn't go that way. All right. I don't think this way is the way to go. I think it's going to have to be this way, but I just need to figure out like which way. But it can't be this way either. I wish I could zoom out a little bit. It would be very helpful if I could zoom out, even just like the slightest bit. Oh, I can turn this? Can I turn this? No, I can't. Okay. I can't turn that. I was about to say, if I could turn that, that would solve a lot of problems. But I can't. Alright, we're going this way. This way. This way. 
There we go. I'm getting further now. I'm getting further. And it's like at this point, it's like there's only one way that you can do them because they only have two possible angles. One has to come in and the other one has to go out. So it's like it can only go this way. It has to go in a certain direction, I think. Yeah. And there we go. Got it. I got it. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. What is that? Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need to Unauthorized transmission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is forcing Orea. Transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. Well. Uh, hold on. I'll talk to you in a second. Uh, I want a couple of things. Number one. An animal figurine. Must have been an ancient animal. We need to talk. We will talk in a second, Aurea. I need to listen to some lore. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. I had an argument with Kenny this afternoon. When a couple's first fight hinges on the Turing Act, you know you're dealing with some real sexy nerds. I won the argument, I guess. But I'm less concerned whether or not I can pull this off than with the ethical implications of succeeding. I promised Kenny that the suite of coping mechanisms I've designed will help manage any emotional fallout from the software, but privately I'm less confident. I'm a programmer, not a shrink. The minutia of robo-ethics do start to seem less relevant when a refusal to supply Firebreak with the necessary conditions for its success comes at the cost of millions of lives. It's worth putting one consciousness at risk to save so many others, isn't it? Uh, trying to solve this with numbers makes it feel like a sociopath. Maybe you are, Anita. Maybe you are. Can I steal some... you have some stuff to steal? Can I take... Can I take things? That's the exit. It must be like an easy exit afterwards. Yeah, I noticed that. What's... what's the deal? Is... is it gonna be, uh... The... the demon is, um... Like part of her subconscious that she has created in order to cope with the loss of humanity. Is it going to be one of those? She needs my help. Okay. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm, I'm Aloy, Aloy, and I want your Not loot. sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Okay, good. Uh, do you know a guy named Silence? He's kind of like the uh, the guy from... You ever see that show Fringe? Kind of looks like that guy. The, uh, the agent, Agent Broyles. Have you seen Agent Broyles? Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish. Good. Give me some secrets. Maybe. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. God damn it. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that I cannot do. 
Come on. About silence? I've told you all I can. Ah. There's nothing more I can say. You know someone else I could talk to about it? He seemed to have a history with this voice. This spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. Yes. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. Does she need more bones? She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea. I know what the spirit the spirit is, is, I just don't know I what see. its purpose is. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. Okay. I don't know if it's related to Gaia. The, the problem is that this was all being made in the 2040s. And the the whole robot apocalypse thing didn't really happen until like the late 2050s, I think. Maybe the mid 2050s. I'd have to look it up again. But it was it was it was after this, so I don't think that that's what it's for. Which is why I'm a little bit confused as to like I get that what what I get about it is that they were making this AI. They had to make it very smart. And that involved giving it emotions for some reason. But they were making it to run something. A, a, I don't know, a, a machine or a system uh, that needed the, the advanced AI to do the calculations. So the AI isn't the project. The AI is part of the project. The AI is meant to run another part of the project but that's that's the mystery what is that other part of the project that it was meant to run the daemon what do you know about it i spoke with the spirit many times first here then inside thunder's drum the last time she told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes something evil she named it the daemon and said it needed her power to do what it willed and she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her, if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, 
hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Okay, well, <laughs> let's go. Let's go to Thunder's Drum then. Let's all pile on the on the bus and let's get going. Road trip. Well, let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit. Go to the place where all their best warriors were by the one you call completely the destroyed. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. I'm. It's. Uh, I'll be Besides, fine. I can go. Our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, yeah. and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter, and I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratak? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard this. <laughs> it spirit. seems like a very convoluted She's plan to go to Thunder's Drum. Why can't I just daemon? sneak through the pass she longs to and go free. there myself? And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Okay, I can or do all this. Speak to my friend, Sakuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. I'm gonna do all do of this. Do all you can. I'm gonna when do the everything. Time comes for you to throw your spear at That's why I'm feet. playing. I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. Yes. In the box over there is a weapon like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. What's your weapon? Hey, look, Anything else I to ask? I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. I got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I did a I'm few sure things. I'm sure the Warwick will be talking. Now, you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. I already did. Uh, How's Aratak going to react to being challenged by an outlander? Yeah. About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. You gonna be pissed? Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warrick. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, that I sent you. Okay. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, I will. It will impress the Werak indeed. I will do this. I will get all Blazing Suns. I don't know if they do Blazing Suns at this particular hunting grounds, but whatever the equivalent is, I will get it. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Werax of Banor to the north. But the cut is easier prey. 
A rogue Asaram has equipped a gang in the Plume Lands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. Okay. You mentioned your friend, Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her. I mean, your stuff is pretty good. And help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time. Oh, is she, do I need to give her the pigments? Numbered. Okay. I need to get going. There is much to be done. Uh, you have a thing for me. What do you have for me? Storm Slinger. Let's grab all these. Linux Storm Slinger and Storm Bolts. What is that? Fires charged bolts. Consecutive bolts build up larger charge and deal increased damage. I can mod it. Which we will do. Does it do... It does electric damage. So do I have anything that does electric and damage? No. I can do handling. Do I have anything that does handling and electric? No. Handling and damage. Which is not that bad. But I wonder if electric... Well... It kind of seems like maybe the handling and damage is probably going to be the the mod of choice. So we'll do that. Uh, and oh, I can... Uh, I need fish skin. Can I never upgrade this? I can upgrade this. I need squirrel bone. But I have everything else I need. Alright, we got more upgrades to do. We'll do those. But in the meantime... This away. I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. If I switch... If I switch to uh, a Banuk outfit... Is she going to feel less cold? Might be working. Shock machines weak to shock resistance. Uh, where am I going from here? Just down that way? Alright, so... They want me to do stuff here. At the hunting grounds. They want me to kill the bandits, which I definitely can do. And then I'm going to go all the way back to the uh, the first little town to talk to someone. Let us instead go do this. Before we start doing like a bunch more fighting. Let's actually go get an upgradable spear. Badger, which I think that I still need. There's also... Oh, come on! Got it. Didn't get a uh, squirrel skin, but... <laughs> I got the squirrel. Why is it taking me down this way? Why can't I go up this way? Too. 
Demonic Frost Claw again. Oh, there's a lot of machines over there. Oh, those are just grazers. Okay. A fox. Any squirrels? What's easy, easy. I want squirrels. And I want, um... You know, I could use some goats. I need goat skin, unfortunately. Did not get any goat Nutritious. skin. Nutritious. That's very unfortunate. Ah, squirrel. Oh, Aloy! <laughs> Aloy! Why is it- why is it you- you slide across half the map to get at one thing and then like other times you just- you don't move at all? Oh god, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, come on. Got it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wasn't even... It wasn't even any skin. I went across a lot of map for that. They're scanning for me. So? So what, Aloy? Doesn't matter. in the butt. Ah, uh, can I not grab that? Hold on. Inventory, resources. I need to get rid of some stuff. Uh, here we go. What else can I get rid of? bone, I guess. I need it. Either way. I forgot that I took off the, um, the auto-aim thing, because it was, like, annoying me sometimes. It would, like, auto-aim for the wrong thing. So now I actually have to be <laughs> better at aiming than I used to be. It's fine. It's fine. Gate discovered. This is a gate. Here, there's a quest here, too. I guess I'll go up here. Hey guys, what's going on? Can't let the smoke from if Ikri's not coming back, she'll be back. She jobs. never falters. But if she has, then I'm the we'll one who can throw a spear the farthest. And I'm the one who can climb ice one the fastest. Challenge at a time. You have passed one test. The next I test is of silence. To fear them is to what are your hunters Hello? doing so far out here? We are of the White Teeth. Come down from the jawbone of Banur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No. It is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. Okay. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights. Sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. What? Can they not even get food from, like, the squirrels and stuff? What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone. Their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. 
Those who do not know the white teeth marked their attempt. How generous. You're from Banur. Do you know about Aratok and Araya? Strong names, indeed. They have many songs. But there is a reason they roam out here, in the cut, and not among the great Warax. This obsession with Thunder's Drum will be their undoing. So who are the White Teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. <laughs> it's real you fun well out served, here. Day shaman. Every day lightning cracks in the smoke of battle. Every night a new name to honor in song. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? In time. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. <sighs> Unbelievable. If there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I want to survival is sacred. Shit all over your culture. To die. Just because I want to. She's like still cold in this outfit, so you know what? I'm gonna go back to my shield. Because it looks cooler. And is more protective. Pile his father's guilt onto the new card, Alright, let's continue on. Our long ass trek to this to this place up here. Let's also look for more squirrels. There's goats. Badger. I think I need badgers too still, but I'm not gonna go out of my way for that. Oh god. Get out of the water, Aloy. Get, get out of the water. There you go. Last. Another squirrel. Ah. Oh, come on. Problem is, I can't really see the squirrel when it goes into the snow. <laughs> Aloy, why do you suck so much sometimes, Aloy? Why do you suck so much? Oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Looks good. I got it. I got squirrel skin. I got it. I got it. Boom. We're done. We're done with this already. What else do I need? Fish? Fish. I don't know if there was any fish up here. I guess we'll go back to the river at some point and see. But for now, we're going this way. Yeah, there's not going to be any fish over here. God, it took so many arrows to do that. Uh, that's what happens. That's what happens when I turn off uh, aim assist. Told me about. Drone oh, no hanger. Doubt. And not natural either. Oh, okay. 